And the final duo moving in. They're almost set. All in. Ready. They're off for the Queen's Vars over a mile and three quarters. Illinois striped sleeves of purple and white pushed up to take a handy position into the turn with Mr. Hampstead around the running rail in a violet jacket. Highbury in the maroon and blue up between horses. And Papano, the white sleeves going handy but caught fairly wide. See the green, a white jacket, white cap drops into fifth place, racing around the inner of Maidan. And then Lavender Hill mob in a striped sleeve jacket, slightly worse than midfield, with Luna Sovereign towards his inner in the yellow and black spots. Uh, Birdman, red and yellow racing out a little wider. The equator in the blue and orange is last but one. Amina Rashid hasn't quite gone the early gallop in the green hood and is bustled along through the first half mile at the back of the field. They're freewheeling on down the hill at this point. Illinois racing wide of Mr. Hampstead. They're the leading pair. Tracked by Highbury, who's shading third over Papano, the dark blue and white. Couple of lengths away, see the green then racing on the inside of Maidan. Birdman is wide of a line of three that has Luna Sovereign in a spotted jacket against the running rail and Lavender Hill mob keen between horses. Uh, yellow and black stripes on the sleeves for Callum Shepherd. Uh, the equator and Mina Rashid remain the final pair. They begin to bear right-handed at Swindley Bottom. Uh, they're entering the last mile of the Queen's Vars. And Mr. Hampstead and Illinois take them on towards halfway. Over Highbury and Papano sitting third and fourth. Two lengths away to see the green racing on the inside of Maidan. Uh, then Luna Sovereign right around the inner going through halfway. Birdman is still wide of Lavender Hill mob. The equator and in the green hood Mina Rashid. The final pair as they head towards the final three quarters of a mile. About to begin the climb for home. Mr. Hampstead against the running rail bar half length to Illinois. Moore sitting quietly in second. Highbury, Wayne Lord and the blue sleeves in third. Then Papano over Maidan with on the inside see the green being bustled along Birdman inching a bit closer wide of Lavender Hill mob. Luna Sovereign has been shuffled back through the pack. The equator in the blue and orange being asked for more and Mina Rashid is also being chased along as they come inside the last half mile and begin the swing for home in the Queen's Vars. Mr. Hampstead and Illinois still the leading pair. Highbury snapping at their heels then Papano. Maidan in a yellow jacket is close up in fifth Birdman the red sleeves is still inching closer. Into the straight they come and now Illinois comes to attack Mr. Hampstead. Highbury moves out after the leading duo. Maidan Yellow Jacket is pulled out. Then Birdman Papano running on from the rear on the right, the equator. Illinois, though, two lengths clear with a furlong and a half to go. Moore driving away. Highbury giving chase. Birdman out wide, staying on with Maidan. Inside the furlong they come. Illinois. Highbury is still chasing his stable mate. Birdman is closing. Illinois wandering off a true line. Moore at full ball and it's Illinois who wins the Queen's Vars and it's a 1-2 for Aidan O'Brien. Highbury chases his stable mate in, Birdman in third, then Maidan and the equator. First, number four, Illinois. Rogue Millennium, store number two, the green of running line to 11, Gregorina, right on the outside, 14 is the last one in, so they're ready. They're off. A race over a mile here, the yellow of Orchid Bloom is slightly the slowest in the stride as they get going for this Duke of Cambridge Stakes and in fact see the lady came out very slowly indeed and is trailing the field by some 10 or 15 lengths. Early on in green, out on deep on the course is running line, Julie Augustus against the running rail up with her. Doom in a blue cap is in prominent position, Breeze just in behind the leaders as well. They're followed by Rogue Millennium up against the running rail, Maroon in yellow jacket for the market leader and last year's winner. She's just taken fourth from Doom. Ocean Jewel is a little bit hidden, black and red colours. And then Laurel, a pink cap against the running rail, yellow jacket of Orchid Bloom on the outside of her. They're followed by Magical Sunset, who races on the rails and Royal Dress in white and red alongside. Novus is next and then comes near Brass Angel to the red sleeves on the outside of the field of Gregorina and slow starters see the lady as joined 
behind her, but they're already coming to the home straight. Running Lion who lead a length and a half. Two in second position, Julia Augusta, the yellow cap, Breeze is behind these. Then Rogue Millennium pulled out Maroon and Yellow Colors to try and make a challenge. Doom is behind this to Ocean Jewel. Running Lion leading though by two as they approach the furlong pole. Make that two and a half. Breeze is behind her. Then comes a Laurel, Pink Cab up against the running rail. Doom, Rogue Millennium trying to get into contention. It's Running Lion and Asheen Murphy in front. Laurel and Ryan Moore giving chase. They race towards the line. Running Lion has won. Laurel in second. Third is close. Magical Sunset, Doom and between them, Rogue Millennium, three, four, five altogether. And Lord North is going to complete the line. Lord North moves in. They're all in. Ready? They're off to race over a mile and a quarter for the Group 1 Prince of Wales' stakes in spiral from a high draw. The red, white and blue is dropped in towards the rear of the field. Al Flayla, the striped cap of blue and white, was a little slow in gathering stride. And snobbish white cap is beginning to work over as they move into the turn at Swindley Bottom and takes them along by a capper lens. With Hans Anderson, the maroon and blue, chasing the early pace. Royal Rhyme in a yellow jacket just shading third. August Rodan, down the orange and blue for Ryan Moore racing a very close fourth. Then there's a break of a capo lens to Blue Rose Sen, who's racing wide of Alf Layla. Three lengths further back to Lord North. Zarakem is racing towards the rear of the field at this stage with Horizon Dore. And in spiral, the raw blue cap is last of the ten strong field as they move through halfway in the Prince of Wales' stakes. And Snobbish is loose on the lead. Clear now by four lengths. Hans Anderson leads the chase. There's another three length break then to Royal Rhyme, in turn being stalked by August Roda. Alf Layla is tucked away against the running rail and neck away to Blue Rose Sen. A further length and a half. To Lord North in a blue and white jacket, to Zarakem in the emerald green. A Ryzen Dory in a yellow and green jacket is ridden with great patience and has only in spiral behind as they swing for home just outside the last three furlongs. Snobbish being asked for more in front, but is being reeled back by Hans Anderson. Royal Rhyme in a yellow jacket turns on and in third. August row down the orange and blue, moving comfortably at this stage in fourth. Al Flayla, striped cap, looking for a way out. Lord North in the blue and white is on the move and now August Rona powers through to tackle Raw Rhyme. Furlong and a half left to go. Horizon Dore from off the pace. Widest of all is being delivered late but it's August Rodan in front as they come inside the furlong. Horizon Dore challenging. Zara Kim in the emerald green trying to thread the eye of the needle. August Rodan from Horizon Dore and Zara Kim and it's August Rodan who wins the Prince of Wales' stake. Zara Kim was up for second. Horizon Dore and third close for fourth between Royal Rhyme and Al Flayla and in spiral midfield never threatened. Metal Merchant of store number eight will be the last one on his way forward. That's it. Ready, set, Go! They're racing for the Royal Hunt Cup over the mile here. They all seem to get away to a pretty decent start. In the early strides, Talis Evolvir, the gatekeeper, also Thunderball towards the left with Mersky, and in that group as well is Arium Power, a metal merchant, and with those is Tempest, and then also Streets of Gold and Kingdom Come and Days of Our Lives are in company with those. Eldrick Jones leads towards the right-hand side, Wild Tiger and King's Code and Rada Barger up there as well. Reg and Dutch decoy and crack shot are not far behind these runners. And then towards the near side, Fantastic Fox. Sonny Liston's in that group as well with Holloway Boy. Kurdor further back. Blue for you and bless him towards the rear of the field with Perotto also. They're already coming down to the halfway stage with Thunderball on the extreme left. The gatekeeper in light blue down the centre. Talisi Volvere and also Ropey Guest and Eldrick Jones and Rado Barger in good position. 
Thunderball behind those to King's Code as they now group into one centre group down the centre. And the gatekeeper in light blue has the lead. Here's Wild Tiger in the raw blue coming to challenge. Bestani making progress. Talisi of Olvera is there. Days of our life with a noseband also getting into it on the far side of the course. Further behind these is Eldrick Jones. And then comes Fantastic Fox the near side. A metal merchant in the green now. And as they enter the closing stages, Wild Tiger and Metal Merchant. Days of our life. Sonny Liston from the back of the field staying on very strongly. Perotto is there as well. It's Wild Tiger and Sonny Liston. Wild Tiger and Sonny Liston. Perotto, Days of our lives. Holloway Boy, Kerdor, Metal Merchant and King's Code. Last to go. We're nearly ready. Stand by. Last one coming in. Ready? They're off. The straight mile stretching before them for the Kensington Palace Stakes. Moon Spirit in the black and red got out very sharply there. Splitting into two groups at the moment. The larger group led by Moon Spirit and Baxi Dar and Summer of Love in the raw blue. Rajindri in the orange is just in behind them with Victoria Falls and Kiara Pearl and far too shy on the left of that group. Elim is in that group in the dark blue and yellow as well, followed by Mother Mary and Rowea, Salsa Bila, uh, Mama's Girl twirling in the black and white is last of the group that races on the left. Uh, Adelaide is leading the cluster down the centre of the track, being followed by Hopeful and Doha and Carsavina with the blue sleeves. Uh, Whiteface, Villanova, Queen to Roaring Success in the purple and yellow, and then Canoodled and Azahara Palace in the green and white is last of the group down the middle of the track. They're already moving through halfway, and it's Adelaide on the right-hand side who gives the lead as the two groups converge. Moon Spirit in the black and red on the left is bang there with Baxi Dar and Summer of Love and Victoria Falls and Rajindri. Hopeful with the maroon cap is coming through quite strongly. Kiara Pearl and Far Too Shy are ridden along towards the far side with Aurora Dawn as they race on down towards the last quarter of a mile and Hopeful has now moved through to come and challenge Moon Spirit. Summer of Love and Victoria Falls are bang there as well. Racing on down towards the last furlong. Doha in a silver jacket is also picking up quite strongly. It's Hopeful being challenged out wide by Doha. These two now now dominating the finish. Doha is throwing down a stern challenge to Hopeful. It's going to be a heads up, heads down finish. Doha and Hopeful in a tight finish. Close for third as well between Victoria Falls and Rawea, then Aurora Dawn. And late games out wide for Azahara Palace. They're off. The Windsor Castle stakes five furlongs ahead of them. Rudy's pet getting out under the stands rail with a nose banded Ain't Nobody and the grey Garveldon. Over on the left-hand side, the grey Fuji Mountain is showing early speed with end of story in a yellow jacket. Cheval de Guerre on the extreme left of that group. Zabil Road is up there as well with Honorary American and Vanguard in the green and white hoops. And then Hawaiian and Reposado from Artanian and Sensorium. Shadow Army is in the left-hand cluster. Gold sleeves with the red cap. Calixo and Celtic Chieftain and Trent. Treasure Isle are also in that group with Rock and Roll Rocket. Meanwhile, across on the right-hand side, it's the Grey Garveldon, who's burst clear under the stands rail of his group from Ain't Nobody and Rudy's Pet and then Sir Yoshi and Aviation Time and further back to Pont Neuf. They're already down towards the last furlong and it's Garveldon in front. Ain't Nobody is giving chase with Aviation Time down the centre, staying on Carl Colston from off the pace. But as they come deep inside the last furlong, Ain't Nobody has swooped through to take over and it's Ain't Nobody who wins the Windsor Castle from Garford and Aviation Time in a tight call for second. And they were followed home by Wise Muller, who was never nearer. And in behind, the likes of Vanguard.